Hello and welcome to the Diet Dr. Pepper series. We are here at Auto Club this week and I am excited because Auto Club should be a really fun track here in the Gen 4. Um, just finishing up practice before qualifying here. I'm about P5 or so on the practice leaderboard. We'll see how uh, we can do in qualifying though. Um, slightly different conditions I'm sure. And uh, the conditions out there were changing as they do. So we'll see what we can uh, what we can pull off. I noticed that the fastest guys on their fast laps were kind of taking the second lane up, interestingly, in order to hit their fast laps. But uh, I'm going to be taking the high line. That's where I got my time, and uh, it's where I'm most comfortable. Maybe second lap, if the second lap's not turning out as well as the first lap, maybe I'll try see if I can run low three and four, see if that gets me anything, just as kind of a last-ditch effort. <laughs> um, but that's about it. I think otherwise we're just going to be uh, running uh, up, up high. Seeing where that'll take us. So, we get ourselves a good run at the line. Loose on throttle as it does. Green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first time black. Make sure we don't get into the wall. That's going to be important. Maybe underdrove it just a bit there. Almost got the wall still. I don't know, maybe the track's just a little bit tighter. Because it felt like I lifted off plenty ahead of time. Still, it's got it. That was like a pretend wall hit. Didn't count, I don't think, but don't like that. Just got too close. Uh oh. One more left. <laughs> I'm gonna want to do better than that. And uh, I think I can. Me too, but people are still going to be putting their laps in, of course. I think I can do better, so let's see. Um, one and two is better that time, so I'm just going to take the high side again. This time, preferably not the wall side. Do it a little bit dramatic. I did last lap. Yeah, I can do much better here. Stay out of that wall. Got a little bit loose. But at the very least, this will be better. Man, 40 0. That kind of sucks. I feel like I could have done much better. I'm a little disappointed in myself. I was definitely in the 39s. I think the track maybe slowed down a bit, but I still feel like I could have done better than that. So, I'm a little disappointed in myself there. I haven't been racing as much lately, so maybe that has something to do with it, but you can see the. 39 8s got the pole right now. It's about where I was in the practice before I had 39 8. So, I think I wanted to get it done the first lap and I messed it up. So, we'll be a little farther back, but still pretty decent effort. Look out for the pit speed limit. Sorry, I got like the hiccups right now or something. But, uh, practice getting on the pits, pit lane, that seems just fine. Lots of room out here at Auto Club. So we could potentially get a very long run. And, uh, let's see, full race, going to be 125 laps. And I believe we are at four sets of tires. Additional sets of tires on the wall, I mean. Tire set limit on the race, five. Okay, so yeah, so we have one set to start on, and then four in the pits. And uh, we might have to be careful about how we use them. We'll see. I'm going to run it as I often do. And, uh, yep, they got there for me. I just looked at that, so I was going to be able to answer quickly, but they got it still before I did. Um, yeah, so. Uh, it's going to be uh, lots of room on the track. Could get long runs. Could get interesting with strategy. Because we will probably have to make a couple stops in the pits if it goes green. I'm going to see real quick when we hop into the car what a full tank of gas will give us. Do some quick math to see what the right strategy might end up looking like. 
Waiting on the 19 and 21 and 54. That's driving uh, <laughs> the two. That's funny. <laughs> He's going for the two tire strategy. That's the end of the session, B9. <laughs> That's funny. Check it flags out. Make sure I don't have it muted in case Gavin is going to say anything before we start here in a little bit. But uh, here I am forgetting we have a warm up to do. But we'll use this time to look at. Uh, Estimated laps. Looks like we might be able to stretch it to 33, potentially, if we want to. But will we need to? Let's see. 125 divided by, we'll say the 32. Ooh, yeah, it is kind of close to putting it to about, like, four stops. That's interesting. Do we want to do a fuel-saving race here? I'm not sure, because if we can do 33... Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I think uh definitely gonna have to take that extra stop. Anyway, I'll let you go until the start of this one. While we do some warm-up, I'll probably practice some green flag pit stop. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, we are back here getting into the car. Can you hear me? And uh, I was looking at the the numbers wrong yeah. <laughs> earlier. Yeah, we Definitely the gonna yeah, divide it into uh, mm -hmm. whatever it was four, whatever. The point is yeah, we're gonna be it, running bro. it empty. I think it's the plan is each run until potentially the last one right. where we just uh, try to get it in half. Well, Session last lap up. Number, we are starting ninth. I think that's just fine. And uh, we're going to save some fuel, since we are going to be running it dry. One to go. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. Closed. Pit road is closed. Catch up. 29. Car. Maybe we could make it 33, but in the end it doesn't matter too much. I'm going down, taking out some cone. Just going to save a little bit. You never know if it can get us that extra lap and maybe get a caution or something at the right time. Like I said, I think the plan is to go long. You have to go almost a full tank in order to make the strategy work, so... Might as well. We'll do a second year start. And hopefully this will be a clean, fun race. Looking forward to it. Inside lane gets a little bit of a slower start, but we're okay. Got a bobble there, we're fine though. I'm gonna get up to the high side. A little bit of break, not too much. Just take it easy for now. If you want to get around me, just let me know. Pull on the virus. Use a tiny bit of brake. Make sure we can get down to the bottom where I think the tire saving will be the best. Car outside. Get a good run there. Wasn't really planning on making any moves or anything right now, but I guess while the opportunity presents itself. Still 
Be on our outside. It looks like he's lifting off, however. I could him. Coming up on Gavin. Not going to have quite enough of a run to get to his inside, so we're just going to be patient here. Heading into three. Draft really not a big thing with these car bodies, so just gonna move low, not worry about getting into the slipstream, or lack thereof. Maybe a bit of a run, not quite. I think he's let me have it though. We'll get around him. That's a track position. All right. Eight. Gotta really be careful with these walls. It's very easy to get into them. We had some people talking earlier about how uh, it's very easy to get sucked into them. And uh, of course, while I was qualifying, Kind of half got stuck into it. I racing didn't say there was contact, but I definitely felt it as I got too close on the entry to three. So don't want to be doing that. Be giving the wall just that little extra bit of room, even more than I think I need to. Yeah, I let you go into one Colton. Just let me go. Interesting. Outside. Clear up top. Thanks, man. You didn't have to do that. Alright, so, P7. Just working on keeping it. Well, I thought I could get behind you and learn something, but I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> Seventh position. Oh, if he wants to learn from me, I'm like, uh, I didn't get as much practice as I would have liked to this week. Just busy with work and stuff, and other things, but... Oh no, he got loose behind us. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, I forgot. Right now, just trying to use a little bit of brake on entry. Be smart about how I'm getting back on the throttle. Hopefully, saving some tires on the using the low line. Fighting the looseness. Just counter steer. I'm just I'm liking that bottom line. I know a lot of guys are running up about a lane up. I'm liking the bottom line though. I'm liking how that's feeling. up to the O2 here a little bit. Love that number. The Herbie Sadler number. <laughs> I'm trying to get into his inside. Didn't really expect to right there, but it looks like it might happen. Maybe not.
Clear. Hold me off. I'm right, up there. Kind of caught him in a weird spot. I was like not quite on his inside. So I didn't really want to drive in too hard or anything. Getting a little loose. Yeah, go ahead, Gavin. Be interesting to see if it's ever necessary to move up the track. I imagine it's probably a little faster once you get a little bit later into the run. And lots of movement up, up there. Guys changing lanes a lot. It's gonna make me nervous. Got the O2 in a weird spot again. I had to lift off a little more. Wow, they are really jockeying for position up there. Might have to go high side if I want to pass the O2. Get around him on the outside. Stay high. Clear. Inside. Keep high. Clear inside. Alright, got that pass done. Don't think I hurt the tires too much trying to do it either. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy the way they're sliding around. They're three wide right now. Really interesting. I think I might. Oh man, are they four wide now? I feel like they're gonna crash. I'm gonna be honest. You know, there's a guy in the wall on the straightaway now. Oh my goodness. I might start taking high line one and two just because the right rear is actually getting quite slippery. Just about halfway through this run. More guys in the wall. It's Ian. Outside. Clear outside. That wall, it's gonna suck people in this whole race, I think. And make sure I'm not allured. <laughs> by that blue, blue color of the wall. That's what people say, it's because the wall's blue, it's uh, harder to tell for some reason, one reason or another, compared to white walls. Guess you can't see it as much in your peripheral, is the idea. So you don't know how close you're getting. That's the theory, I guess. Oh man. They are putting everything they have into it. I think I saw another wall tap up there. Still trying to just kind of be smooth. Kind of have to be if you don't want this thing to get out of control.
<laughs> Pretty exciting racing, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, I got way too sideways there. I was watching them too much. Needed to focus more on what I was doing. Oh, he's way into the wall that time. Actually didn't hurt him as bad as I thought it was going to. It looks like he got in the wall pretty good. Get to his inside. Why? Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Not much grip down there. Stay low. The car ahead is urban. Clear outside if you want it. Definitely want the high side now, I think. And one and two, especially at least. Outside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Still there. Clear high. Inside. Clear. Oh man. So many wall hits. We're really lucky none of that has caused a wreck yet. Uh, I don't know how we're going to pass. Not going to happen down low, I don't think. Not at this point, unless you do a crazy slide job, Clear. which is going to ruin the tires. That's a last resort effort. We're top five. I'm feeling pretty good. This is tough. This is tough racing. Very hard to keep it out of that wall. About nine laps of fuel left by the time we get to the line here.
Pretty fun, it's difficult to drive, but that's what makes it fun. Who's in the wall ahead? It's gonna go low, it'll probably be able to clear him here. Protecting the high side. I don't think I want to be down here. Keep low. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. I need him to slide up, man. Clear high. All right, we get by him. It's not easy to do to find a way around somebody here. So I'm glad I was able to get that done. You take advantage of that opportunity. Drove in hard, not really a slide job, but it was able to drift off up in time without really cutting it close, risking a wreck. Oh, we got a slow car on the high line. What is he doing? Hold the line. Oh my god. 85 pitting. Ian's pitting. I think the guy was trying to get out of the way, but you just gotta hold your line there, because otherwise we're gonna step in the same direction like we did. Gavin's behind us. He's been moving forward, I think. Gonna need a pit here soonish. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to keep this thing stable on exit. Hey, car fitness lab. The rear is really hurting. Gavin took a lower line there, doesn't quite get the run off. It makes some good time down there, though, interestingly. I think my tires are hurting. Just all of them. <laughs> yeah, Gavin's got a great run through one and two. He's taking care of his tires much better, I think. The car in front is pitting. Stay high to the car on the low side. Still there, inside. Still there at the bottom. 36 foot in the Clear inside. <laughs> He's going to cut it off, that's fine. Kind of a necessary evil here. Hitting. Block out that high high line. Clear. The next car is the leader. The leader's pitting now. I'm gonna be pitting this lap, I think. Get back 
his fourth position. You have about two laps of fuel left. 18 bidding this time. Pitting in this lap, pitting in this lap. You've got one gun on the left. 20 car pitting, 20. Pit lane speed limit is. Alright, gotta slow it down. You're going pretty fast heading into there, so it can be tough to get it all the way down to 55. All looks good. Full tank. In. All tires. Five, 75 pitting this time. Three, two, one. Right here. All right. Got it stopped. 48.50. We'll share that. 86 pitting this time by. 86 this time by. Not sure how that's going to stack up. Move it, move it. The leader is bidding now. 14 pits, 14 pits. The leader is coming up on you. They're not at five. Trying to get up to speed as quick as we, quick as we can. I'm pitting, I'm pitting. Gavin is leading and pitting, so that we know uh, he knows that we see him back there I think we're gonna drive away though all right got more grip now everyone kind of pit at the same time so some slight shuffling of where we were running maybe but nothing too big Loose. That was a big correct I did, and that almost put me in the wall. Careful with that. Sure, he's the race. 63. He's much less on the right rear, and I think that helped him. I think I'm going to be easier on my right rear this time. Gavin was much faster there, and he had almost he had very similar right front, but a much better right rear. I think it really did pay off. Cars ahead have older tires, but only by a couple laps. Only one in the case of Scott. One lap fresher. Car outside. Outside, clear. I tried to see if I could get a run and get on his outside, but not quite. Get back in Right now we're P5. Now we do have some fresher tires behind us, I think. Right on Scott here. Trying to find a way to get a run on him, but that didn't work at all. I tried to back it up a little bit more and just made me slow. Probably helped the right front a little bit, at least that corner though. Car 
Whoa. Go low. Keep Bounced off the wall. That was very scary. Clear. done that a couple times, I think. That might have been a, one of the bigger ones, though. It looked pretty big from my viewpoint, but it was also about a centimeter away from him. That might have hurt him. I think he's a little off pace now. So we got tracing the lead still. He's been kicking butt this race for the most part. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. I don't know what I did that corner. That didn't work though. Got the angle wrong or something. That didn't feel right. Going for the pass now. Clear it's only going to get tougher the longer we wait. Wow, he really made it through that corner though, trying to defend it. Well, let's try on the inside then. Keep low. Still there. Clear high. I think we'll get around. Maybe we can fight off on the high side if necessary. Not necessary, but there is someone on the low side. Take a lane up, that's fine. Inside. Some guys seem to prefer it anyway. Clear. Maybe that's what I should be doing. Ian ahead of us, he's got yeah, five yeah, lap older tires. Which is interesting. Chuck behind us is one lap fresher tires. He's on his way to me, I think. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Will we be clear of him? I don't think we will. Keep low. You're in second position right now. Time was that? Clear outside if you want it. Car inside. Base has got a big advantage right now. Torn on whether I want to be fighting off Chuck right now. He's got better tires. Still inside, Colton. Gaining on this car. Clear in, guys. Okay, 
He's got it. That's fine. Follow him. Didn't need to go on doing that forever. John behind us on equal tires. We'll see how that ends up looking by the end of this run. Gavin had a real big advantage last time from having better rear tires, it feels like, so I have been trying to be a little bit better on the rears. That could be a key to long run speed here. I say I am, and then I get it sideways some more. I'm trying, at least. This has got quite a lead, but he has come back to us a couple tenths, and by a couple I mean literally like two tenths this whole run. So nothing significant by any means, but it's not getting further away at least. getting sideways. It's so easy to get this thing sideways, and I know that's got to be hurting the rear tires sliding around like that. Race is coming back to us. He's got slightly older tires, only about a lap or lap to me and two laps to Chuck. It is interesting. I think it really pays to uh, stay out longer if you can. It's kind of the gist I'm getting, but obviously low sample size. Still about 16 to 17 laps before we have to pit again. Lap traffic up ahead of Tracy up there. Nice little handful of cars we'll have to get around. Couldn't be too much trouble, wide track and all. But could be interesting. Driving away from the guys behind. It's good. P3. P3 is pretty good. I'm feeling very good about that. We've moved up from uh, where we've started, starting ninth. Results are mixed. I'm not sure. If anything, I think I'll just keep going to the bottom. Because I think it's easier on the right front. Chase is only a second ahead of Chuck up there. If they start battling, that could really give us a chance. Otherwise, Tracy has been really enjoying that lead he's had.
feel like I've been doing better on the right rear this time. At least once I got past uh, some guys I didn't have to fight side by side with. I'm making a real uh, concerted effort not to overdo it on the throttle pedal. It's feeling much more stable. On the contrary, Tracy, I thought I saw him get a little sideways up there. Having watched Gavin's first run, and how much faster he was at the end of it, and then comparing my tires to what I saw his tires were, I think that's really helped us out to know how important it is. Wait until we get to th full throttle. Right now, it feels like it's working. I even caught back up a tenth on Chuck. About a second back to John back there. Grace is reaching those lap cars. I got on it too hard there. That's what I've been trying to avoid. I just feel like I spin them up when I do that. He's really falling back. 1.3 to me now. Much better run through 3 and 4 there. Approaching nine laps left on this tank. 85 pitting here. Ian pitting much earlier. Interesting. I'm going to keep with my plan. I think I'm doing better this long run than I did the first long run, even. So I'm going to keep at it. Trace's entry to that corner maybe compromised a bit. Oh yeah, definitely, that affected his corner. Both gained on him quite a bit. He's now only a second ahead of me. About half a second up to Chuck. It's tough to pass here, even lap traffic. Get around lap traffic, no harm. I think we were able to get by a lot quicker than they both were able to. A lot of luck involved in that. Just on where you catch them. It's very interesting. Coming to the end of this run in seven laps, and we're kind of scrunching together here for the lead. Drove entry a bit there. Whoa. I think the 
14 got loose, maybe? What are you doing? You're going low, but going the same fast. I'm just not sure what you're doing. Just want to where you're trying to go. Let's take that low line. The car inside. We'll get around him. Stay high. Clear. I'm gonna take high line. Consistency, keep it up. See how this works out for us. Ugh. Got quite loose. I think I'm gonna start working that though. Oh, we're all scrunched together now. All within half a second. We've got about five laps of fuel. Run, not quite enough though. We'll make a pass here. Go low. The next car's the leader. The car behind is really outside clear. I'm gonna hold high line. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> it feels bad, I don't like blocking, but it's necessary. I'll get on my inside a bit, but we'll have the run off. Turn the flap. What did he say? Car inside. Said I thought he was pitting, maybe. Still there. Hold your line. Yeah. Okay, he was pitting. Clear. Okay, halfway in the race. All right, we'll lead a lap. All right, bonus points. Gonna have to pit this lap though. No one behind us. Hitting in this lap. Hitting in this lap. Okay, we gotta do this right. 20 pitting this time, 20. Alright, a little bit easy there on entry, but that'll work. Everything looking good for fuel and tires. Let's do it again. Another green flag pit stop. Love it. Pit box team. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. I'll okay. take this floor. I did not want to stop. Fifty fifty six. That's gonna hurt us. I hate that I did that. Go, go, go! There's a car approaching. Stay behind the white line. I'm trying to be daring on exit, not overdo it at the same time. 
14 pitches left, 14. Inside. Still inside. Clear inside. Inside. Stay high. Uh, okay. And still there inside. Clear inside. The lead is hitting now. Hey, right. pretty aggressive there. Got that track position back though. Where is Bryce gonna go? It's going bottom. Thank you. Much appreciation to him for telegraphing that. Alright, where are we going to be after we have that slide past our box? That's my question. Not only that, but we got undercut a little bit. Chuck's three seconds ahead. Man, I killed myself by sliding through the box. That sucks. Really hurt me. So we lose a little bit from sliding past the box, we lose a little bit. Outside. From uh, being undercut. Keep low. Outside is clear. Interesting, where's Tracy? I thought Tracy was going to be one of those guys up there. Did he have some... He might have had a bigger issue with pit road. Penalty or something. Outside. I expect to catch that guy. Clear high. On exit. Tracy might have had a big issue on pit road. We had a minor issue on pit road. Chuck presumably had no issue on pit road. Now he's leading. Ian, I think, had a pretty big undercut. I remember him petting pretty early. Should be able to catch him, and Chuck's already gone around him. We're catching Chuck, but... How much? Probably not much. P3. Being nice to the right rear again. I liked how that worked out last run. You saw that I was able to do it. I was able to save that right rear a little bit more. 50-56. Not quite as much as Gavin did that first run. But more. And I think it helped out. So we'll try to do the same thing. John behind us on equal tires. Scott and Tracy on older tires. Tracy just had a bad pit stop, I think. Maybe he slid past his box worse or something. Who knows? But Chuck's really liking how that green flag pit stop worked out there for sure. Now has himself a 2.8 second lead. Car outside. He's up there. His tires are hurting compared to ours right now. He's lifting off. Clear outside if you want it. Thank you. Yep, 
Got me getting loose while saying thank you. <laughs> Chuck 2.7 ahead. Quite a lot more left of this run to do as well. That's crazy. I don't know what happened to Tracy. Theoretically, he should be right next to Chuck still, because they put hit at the same time, I'm pretty sure. Mitch. 23 laps of fuel left. The captain, this run. Can we push a little bit harder here, knowing that can actually hit a little sooner at the end of this run? Maybe. Or maybe I just drift through the corners. You think that'll work? What's going on with the handling there? I think I just got up on a seam really wrong. <laughs> Definitely feel like I could be putting better laps in right now. That was at well, can't believe how loose it's getting in one and two right now. It seems really early in the run to be getting that feeling. Wonder if the track's getting hotter, maybe? Crap was pretty hot to begin with. The sun's out here in California too. Heating up the pavement. Creating even less grip out here. Chuck going down to the apron. Gaining a little bit at a time right now, just a tiny, tiny bit, maybe like half of a tenth. Not much. B2, gap two, Sass. Behind is now 1.3 seconds. It's getting better runs out of the corner. At least that's what it seems to indicate with the relative and how it's changing. I think we pit lap 95. Undercut it a bit. I don't know though. Because before early on the race I was saying long run might be better. But with the last run being shorter, maybe they just won't have enough time. I don't know. I've got to make up some time on him though somehow. I think that might be the way to do it. I 
gonna drive a little harder for a little bit here. See if I can gain any more. And if I ruin the tires, we'll pit in pretty soon here, so it should be okay. That was actually not good at all. That was much slower. Did I just mess up how, to, how I did it there? Highline usually is faster. If at the expense of the tires. I think I might have just messed it up. I'm going to have to try that again in this lap. Oh. Yeah, no, that wasn't very good. interesting. Further evidence that the track conditions are changing, maybe? Island's not where you want to be anymore, maybe. It's very interesting. We'll see here if the uh, low line's much better. It's gonna go down. Yeah, no, low line's where it's at right now. All right. I feel bad. I wasted time, but oh, Scott lagged out. No. Yeah, I was like, no, I just magically got fourth. That's cool. But that's not cool. It's not good. That really stinks. He just was able to get back too after he hadn't been able to race for a little bit. Man, the internet has been a curse for so many people this series, including me. Never want to see that. These Gen 4 cars were just not made as reliably as they are now, huh? Engine's blowing left and right. Chuck catching some lap traffic. That could help me, especially because they're too wide right now. pit before I catch him so I don't have to worry about it. I'm not quite as happy with how the car's feeling late run here anyway. Just have to make it to about lap 89 and then I'm comfortable with fuel and all that. Don't have to even think about it. Check up there behind the lap car. This is dumb, but past, it's always been the high line that's faster in the long run, or you know, in the short run. This does not seem to be the case here. 
Again, I know I got loose there, but it really wasn't looking good anyway. It's fine. Hit next time by, and hopefully I don't have to tell anyone about it, because I don't really want Chuck to know. To be honest, I want to be able to undercut him as much as possible. I'm sure he'll notice, but... And I'm pretty sure the iRacing has, like, the car behind is pitting anyway. Which, fair enough. A real crew chief would tell you that. Especially if it's for the, uh, a battle for the win. Oh my gosh, what are they doing? Coming in right here. Speed. Don't say anything. Secret. We'll Keep it hush hush. We'll play some defense if we have to late race. I think this is what gives us the best chance though. Five. Three. Two. One. I'll slide past right your box here. this time, forehead. There we go. <laughs> seventy two seventy two. I'm not gonna share, I'm sorry. 72-72 is very interesting. That feels like the track has been rubbered up really good. Okay, punch it. Pitting, pitting, pitting. Uh, what am I doing? I'm this freaking idiot. I'm like going 45 when the speed limit's 55. I was looking at my laps. How many of them that are left? Ah, uh, this has not been my best showing, I'll be honest. I did my math wrong, I think. It would be very embarrassing if I did that, wouldn't it? Okay, Colton, we're in a lucky dog position right now. I think we're short on fuel. I am not very smart, am I? What did I do wrong? I was doing the math as if it were a 120 lap race, I think, is what I did. Thank you. Uh, that's embarrassing. He's pitting anyway. Oh well, maybe we can save fuel and tires at the same time, and it'll actually work out brilliantly, and I can pretend that it was the plan all along. Can't believe I've done this to myself. Hello. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. I'm pitting Gavin Pillow. How much of an advantage are we even going to get? I don't know. 20 pit this time. We're only just short, so. Maybe we can save this amount, but that's not a very fast way to drive by saving fuel, is it? We're going to be about five seconds ahead of Chuck, it looks like. Clear inside. 
basically pit the same lap as me. <laughs> Hope I didn't drag him down there and end up hurting us both. The car in front is pitting. Pretty sure I made a big mistake here. The car behind you pitting. You're in the top ten. Thirty one laps left, twenty not like just under thirty. The car behind you pitting. Clear high. Shoot, man. Have to save. The car in front is pitting. <laughs> ah. I should have just kept my mouth shut and pretended this was the plan all along, so that way if it does work, I look like a genius. The car behind you, right now, I'm looking like a very much not genius. What's the opposite of a genius? Don't answer that, actually. Well, you know, there are no green-white checkers, so if there's a caution late, it'll look pretty good for us. There are ways this can work that don't involve me running out of fuel. Has slightly fresher tires. Say hi, Chuck. Thank you. Three. Well, maybe we will make it. I think it looks great though still. Four seconds back. We're going inside. It's fine. Do big lift off. Clear inside. Chance to save a little bit of fuel on entry there. Some guys went really long that last run. Chuck is back there, three seconds. I'm going to save now, so, uh oh, is he spinning on entry bed down there? He's down below the apron, is that going to be a caution? We're actually good on fuel now. After saving. It's 26 laps left, slightly over 26 laps. There. So, uh, everything I was just saying, nah, that, this was all the plan all along. I mean, Chuck's coming fast, though. He's got, obviously, much better tires. Four full laps. A big track. Eight miles fresher tires. So, he's going to be gaining a lot. Just got to hope that I can hang in there. Big lifts off. That's what we've been doing. Whoa, that got sideways much more than I was used to. Oh, that was very strange. That didn't feel natural, to be honest. Whatever that was. Just broke sideways in the middle of the corner. Nowhere. All behind them, too close. The car is now. Uh-oh, got an amber alert. 
Everybody look out for it. Wait, Heel, Hyundai Elantra. We have a new leader. That black was at 124. Keep going then. I can do to help with that situation. So we're coming up to 23 laps to go. We're still going to be very close on fuel. You know what, I'm okay with this decision I made, even if it was a little earlier than I intended. At least we'll have the track position. Gives us a chance whenever we were almost two seconds back before. Maybe we'll be able to fight it. Maybe. Oh my gosh, what's happening up there? Loose moment for the 10, I guess. Chuck is on his way. That's okay. Here's what it is. A little short on fuel again. It's not what I want. Jet's right there. We're not going to be able to hold on for a whole another 21 laps, you kidding me? Please back out. Stay low. There was a car on the high side. He's not going to. Clear high. Dang. That's all right. We didn't have to. Thank you, man. Just what helped me in my desperate attempt to keep this position. We'll fight it. <laughs> We're not going to have much fight left in us, though. He's going to zoom right by us, I think. Highline wasn't even the right place to be Clear. earlier anyway, so yeah, that's gonna be easy. I don't know. Do I even try to cross them over? Probably not. There's no reason to. That's the race. Highline went away, now there's cloud cover. Maybe the Highline's back. That's what that's what it would take for the highway to come back. The next car's the leader. Let's see, I guess. Yeah, look how much faster that was now that the track even just had a moment to cool. It took it better that time anyway, but either way it doesn't matter. He's got four lap fresher tires. Now we just gotta make sure we can make it to the end of fuel. Pitting. All right, how many laps we got left? Two. And let's save. 
Wow, wow, okay. Hard to judge the speed I need to be entering with. When have I got the clutch now? Later in the run. Okay, Colton. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Botched the strategy, but I don't think it really would have mattered too much. He had too much of an advantage, that full two seconds. Heading into the final pit stop. Really, it was me sliding past my uh, through my box during the second stops that really did it, I think. Two seconds back to John in the 18. We'll see if we can hold on to that. Save fuel though, so that's not gonna not gonna be great. Man, he's got much newer tires too. He might come get us. Uh, overdrove it. There's no engine braking when you clutch. Oh man. I really messed up Chuck's corner, that lap car. It's by him, though. Just about back on track with fuel. Graphical glitch there. We're all good. Ooh, really had to chase that. Coming to 12 to go. I'm a little better on fuel now. Still do big liftoffs. Just to make sure we can make it. So we'll be coming to 10 to go, I have about 10 laps of fuel left, exactly, just about. The gap in front is now 2.0. I think we should be able to keep uh, P2. John's still catching, but not quite fast enough, I don't think. Chuck's going to end up with just pretty much the same gap he had. Not a little bit more than he had uh, the end of the last run. 
it all evens out in the end. So. Say hi, Jack. Appreciate it, man. Maybe we won't hold on to uh, P2. It's getting closer. I'm gonna say hi in 1288. Thank you. No problem. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. We're right on target with our fuel. Last lap was at 42.2. Still wonder what happened to Tracy. He's still top five, looks like. He just must have had a bad stop at the same time I did. Now, don't get it sideways. I'm still okay on fuel. I see six when I get to the line here. Yeah, if we run out like right here, that's fine. That's okay. He's getting close though back there, 0.6. I really would like to hold on to B2 if I can. You now he's going to be pushing hard trying to get up here though. At least like one lap maybe of using all the fuel. It actually was faster than last lap. I don't know how much I actually saved there though. I didn't really clutch it for very long. a little bit more. It's running Highline up there. I don't know if Highline's where you want to be anymore. Maybe it changed again, but I swear it was not working anymore when I was last trying it. Don't do that. What you doing, man? Okay, we're good there. You've got two minutes of fuel remaining. We have to take the low line pretty much no matter what, because if we take the high line, we might not have enough fuel. <laughs> I 
I think we're okay though. Check me where I am clutching. I might run out of fuel. It's so close. Gracie's close yeah, too. I'd imagine Cohen's on the edge too, because he's at the same time. In this lap, box this lap. Yeah, I pit with you. I've been clutching this whole run, basically. Staying right close as well. I hope I didn't pull you guys into my bad idea. I thought, uh... Well, well, I think it was 108, you were good to go or something? I don't know, I can't do that right now. It's like 89 or something, I forget. 90. Good. I pit on 96, so. Yeah, Cole, I couldn't figure out why you pit that early. I'm surprised, man, we could have had a hell of a battle here at the end. Uh, I don't know. You had a two-second lead at the end of that last run. I was just trying to undercut as much as I could to see if uh, I could do like a late hold-off or something, but no, uh, good win, man. You had it. Thank you. Nice win, Chuck. Good race, everybody. Yeah, great win and great race. That was super fun. I enjoyed that immensely. Great drive. That's a podium. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, guys. Great job. You did really well. Press on the way, Chuck. I was trying to say I was on a few of people can talk. I'm sorry, Greg. Way to bring that home one. Great. Way to bring that one home for us, Chuck. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Man, what an awesome league this is. Yeah, it was a great race. Absolutely. That was fun. And that was when I'm beat. Yeah, I'm more out too. 55-63 in the final run. Sorry, dude. Same tire saved. Uh, 94 good racing with you. Uh, pretty much the whole race, man. Our saving our fuel well, we saved our tires as well. Run. Good race, everybody. I indeed ran out, probably like 150 feet away from that check, and I lost two spots. That was hilarious. Yeah, I lost several seconds doing that. Yeah, that's all a few people do that. I did it at Nashville. <laughs> Killed my race there. It's amazing how when it goes green the whole way like this, how perfect you have to be. I slid past my back, my box one time, lose a couple seconds, and I lose the race by a couple seconds. Oh, I missed my box bad the second stop. That just was the end for me because everybody was faster along around than me. Yeah, you can't make any mistakes in this league. It's too, that's pretty good, man. <laughs> pretty amazing how uh, how much you just got to nail it. Uh, Lane got arrow damage. I was wondering what happened. Have a good one, guys. Crazy. I look forward to watching y'all's uh, videos tomorrow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to all the videos for sure. Nick got a top again, five as well. He moved forward a whole bunch. Started with 14. We get P2. Thanks, Very happy with that. Um, probably not going to be able to see much. Crash-wise, because I don't think anybody really did. I thought I saw a couple sliding into the green flag pit stop. That's probably about it. We'll go ahead and take a look. Maybe go through it pretty quickly. Timothy blinks. We'll see if we have any like situations where something might have happened. Got into the wall. 
Remember that? Isn't that me coming up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna see the purple peek up out of the bottom. We can ride along. I really don't think we're gonna see much. Yeah, that was a very scary situation right here. See, I'm coming up on the, the lap car, and I'm like, all right, I'll cut down below him. But uh, then I have to, he's like turning low instead of staying up high. He's kind of like in between both lanes. So I have to dodge down low, and I really don't want to lose my momentum out of the corner. Thankfully, able to just get around him. Scott kind of has to tap his rear end a little bit there. I wonder how that looked from uh, Gavin's perspective. I had, that had to look pretty scary. I'm just curious. I'm going to look at this real quick. You can see him like almost up in the wall up there. Don, I believe that is, getting by him. Yeah. Alright, moving along, probably got some uh, internet blinks and a couple wall taps to see. Scott's going to get the wall again. That time he got really hard. The uh, saver barrier, I think, reached out and grabbed him a bit. Moving along. Tracy there. I think we're going to get a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, this is going by too slowly. See, it's lap 29. I think it's just showing old tires and wall hits, so... I don't think we're going to see anything of interest there. I'll definitely take a P2, especially for a second, <laughs> because for a second there, it was looking like I wasn't going to make it on fuel. Had to save a little bit. But still able to get at P2. I was able to lead some laps. That was part of the plan. Make sure I get some bonus points. Uh, I was able to do that during the cycles at one point though. So didn't really need to do it for that purpose, but we got it done at some point. So now we're gonna go ahead and look at the race results page and then we'll go ahead and move on to the season standings, which I believe I should still be leading. I was leading by one point, I believe, uh, on, I think it was Gavin. Is that up on the screen for you? It looks like it is, all right, so. We get P2, Chuck, with P1 and the fast slap. We got it by a pretty good amount, even. So he was the one to beat here today. Uh, once Tracy got caught during that second run, he actually leads the most laps because he was dominating early. It sounds like he had a really tough stop, too, and was just never able to quite bring it back. But even then, Chuck and I had caught him late into that run. And then I slid past my box, and that was... Uh, Part of the difference, I mean, it was because I slid past my box that I felt the need to do that uh, very early pit in there to give myself a chance. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of just left me uh, defensive there instead of on the offensive. But, can't complain about a B2 anyway. Gavin and Nick with great runs. Looking forward to watching both of their videos. And here's the rest of your field. Oh man, I didn't notice Scott actually ended up having to leave. Oh no, he disconnected, that's right. Oh, that sucks. I just remembered that happened to him. I was thinking for a second he uh, got into the wall and it broke his car, but it, no, it's because he disconnected. So, you hate to see that. Try to get the... Do -do. That is not correct. <laughs> I'm not very good at this, as you can tell. I'm trying to get the uh, point standings up. So, that is not the point standings. That is my relative. That is what I see when I'm telling you what the uh, stuff is looking like with the uh, strength of field and all that. But right now I'm navigating to the uh, point standings so you can see that. Get that out of your face. Sorry. Alright, Diet Dr. Pepper series point standings.
And as I thought, bringing this up. No, not that, you goober. Why is this not working? This is frustrating, you know. Come on, lead results, lead view. There we go. Thank you. Sorry that took so long. I was clicking and it wasn't working. Uh, here I am. <laughs> In the points lead. Gavin has another great run, though, so we don't pull away too much. We get P2. He got P4, I believe, um, if I remember correctly. Yes, P4. So we'll gain a couple of points, but not too many. And we'll benefit from having some laps led. I don't think he had any laps led, unless he stayed out long one of those runs. I can't remember if he did or not. I guess we can check real quick again. Sorry if uh, you already know, but I'm curious. Uh, he did. He did lead some map laps, so we don't gain any bonus points on him there. It equals out, but at least he doesn't gain any on us. And then you see Ian down there in third. About 100 points back, but looking pretty good for us. Um, able to get some wins, get a P2, a runner-up finish in this one. And uh, I can feel pretty good about that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, some very fun racing here. Always awesome that we can do so many green flag hit stops and uh, having such a great race. So I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.